Hey guys and welcome to this video. So in this video we're going to take in a matrix and then print out the transpose of that matrix. So I'm going to go ahead and write a description of what this program does. And once again, this program prints the transpose of a matrix. So um, how are we going to do that, right? How it works. Well, suppose that we have a 3 by 2 matrix called R. Okay, so this means that our, it's a matrix where the uh, a matrix with three rows, so row equals three and um, two columns, so column equals two. And let's give a little example here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be a three by two matrix. So now let's put a little note here. A matrix can be represented by an array in programming. Okay. So that means that we can now write R, which is the name of our matrix, which contains integer elements. So we could write that as int R32. OK. Now, something also to remember is that arrays start from 0 and not from 1. but uh, we're going to leave it like that for now. And we want to print the transpose, which means the element at position row, comma, co column becomes the element at position. column comma row so let me give an example of this so let's say we we are looking at the element 6 which is currently at position 0 1 2 so 2 row 2 and column 0 1 So that equals our element 6. Then the transpose would be array at position 1, 2. And now that position will contain the element 6. OK? And the transpose of our array, which I called R, or of our matrix is below. So we're going to go ahead and create that here. So it'll be 1, 3, 5, and then 2, 4, and 6. So the transpose of this matrix here would be uh, this matrix here. So it's no longer a 2 by, I'm sorry, a 3 by 2 matrix, but now it's a 2 by 3 matrix. OK, so let's go ahead and start coding this up a little bit. So first, we're going to include our library, stdio.h. And I think that's good enough for now. Let's go ahead and create our main function, return 0. And let's see, we're going to need our matrix. So I'm just going to call it A instead of R, instead of the um, where do I have it up here? Instead of ARR, I'm just going to call it A. So it's going to be our matrix. And it's going to be size 10 by 10. So this will give us some wiggle room if we wanted to create a 3 by 2 matrix. I'm going to ask the user to enter the rows and columns of the matrix. 
that we want to create. Okay. Um, then we need to get that user's input. So scan f. We're going to scan in two integer values. And I need to assign that to a variable. So I will call it r for row and c for column. So these are the two variables that I use. So we're going to scan in r and we're going to scan in the column. Perfect. Now let's see. Maybe I want to create a transpose array. So so this will be the transpose of our A matrix or array. And I'm probably going to need some loops. So I'm going to need two indexes. So I call them I and J. That's pretty standard. Doesn't have to have to be called I and J though. Okay, so now we're going to um, ask the user to enter in all of the elements into the matrix. So let's see here, I do a backslash n for new line, and then we'll say enter elements of the matrix. And then maybe the space and then a backslash n. So we're going to go to another new line. All right, so let's go ahead and just run the program for now, just to um, make sure that everything is okay. So I've already saved it as a uh, matrix, I'll call it matrix transpose.c. All right, so perfect, enter rows and columns of matrix. So we're gonna do two, three, and it says enter elements of the matrix, okay. So now let's create a for loop for i equals zero. I is going to be less than the row, and I is going to increment by one. And then within that loop, we're going to have another one from j equals zero. j is going to be less than c, which is our column, and then j is going to increment by one each time as well. All right, so now in here, we want to ask for each element. So we'll do a print statement, and we'll say, enter element a and then we'll do percent d percent d okay then colon maybe a space um, and that will be those are positions i and position j so whatever i is would be here whatever j is would be here and that's fine. So now we need the, to actually get that value. So we're going to scan in a integer. And at that position is where we're going to store it, at position ij. All right. I think I got that. Okay. So now we've scanned in all of the elements and I want to print them. So so here we scanned in all elements of the matrix. And now I want to print the elements in the matrix. And I want to print it such that it looks like this, you know. Uh, so we're going to probably need to put some new lines in there somewhere. So again, for i equals 0, i is going to be less than the number of rows. i is going to increment by 1. And then we'll do another for loop from j equals 0 j is going to be less than the column and then j is going to increment by one each time and now what we want to do is we want to print the element 
and the elements at position A, I, J. All right, and maybe I put a little space here so that the numbers uh, don't bunch together so we can have a little space like we have up top here. Okay, but I need to put a line somewhere as well. Um, let's see, so if uh, j equals c minus 1, then I will print a new line. Oops, perfect. Actually, you know what? I'll do two new lines. Make it look even better. And maybe I'll put another print statement here. Um, we'll do, just to tell the user that, that we're going to print the matrix. So I will say the entered matrix and maybe I'll make this capital too and maybe we'll put a new line here all right so let's give this a run so enter rows and columns of the matrix so we do two three okay so one two three four five six oh I did two by three okay so I want to actually do a three by two like what we have up here so I run it again just to see if it looks the same three two so one two three four five six perfect so that looks like our matrix there all right so I exit out of this. Now we want to figure out what the transpose looks like. So we want to find the um, transpose of the matrix. And again, I'm going to need four loops. So for i equals zero, i is going to be less than um, r. And I is going to increment by one. And we're going to do another for loop. For j equals zero, j is going to be less than our column, which is c. And then j is going to increment by one each time as well. All right. And then we have our transpose array. So transpose array at position j i is going to equal our array at position i j so you can see here all we're doing is switching the rows and columns all right and then we want to print the transpose of the matrix So again, we'll use another for loop for i equals 0. i is less than um, the number of columns this time. And i is going to come in by 1. And that's because we're printing the transpose and not the actual matrix itself. So j is going to equal 0. j is going to be less than the rows this time. And then j is going to come in by 1. And then we're going to print the element at position transpose i j okay but again we we want it to kind of look like this in the way that I have it right now it might just print out one three five then two four six let's see like it got a little error there. OK, 
Okay, put the semicolon in the wrong place. Let's try this again. All right, and we're doing a three by two matrix. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And yes, so it prints out one, three, five, two, four, six. So we need to put a space, I'm sorry, a line here, a new line to make it look like a matrix. So we can do that by putting another if statement here. If J equals R minus one, then we will print uh, maybe two new lines. And let's see how it looks now. Three by two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay, that looks good. Um, I want to tell the user though that this matrix here is the transpose. So I'm just gonna do a little print statement somewhere like here. And we'll say transpose of matrix and then a new line there um, I didn't put my semicolon so let's go ahead and run this now so 3 by 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 all right and we see that we now get the transpose of the matrix 1 3 5 2 4 6 just like we expected all right, guys, so thank you. I want you guys to know if you need a bigger array, you just need to change these values here. Um, you know, if you want something bigger than uh, 100. Um, once again, though, thank you guys for watching. Please leave likes, comments, questions. Don't forget to subscribe and to become a supporter on Patreon. I'll be sure to have the code in the description link below. Thanks as always for watching and I see you guys all in the next video.